All right, friends, so I've been an Elvis fan a long time, and you can see this is Graceland that I'm passing right now. And I wanted to show you something that is right around the corner that a lot of people don't know about, and that is Elvis's dad's house where uh, his dad and his stepmother, Dee Presley, lived. And the house backs up to the back of Graceland. Um, somebody's bought this thing. I'm not sure who owns it, but it's very dilapidated at this point. And I'm even going to fly over it. I'm going to talk about it here in just a moment on camera. And then I'm going to fly over it with my drone closer to the end. And I'll narrate a little bit and tell you what's there. kind of. And I'll fly over the back of Graceland as well. But that is the house right there. They lived there up until the year after Elvis passed, 1978. So check it out. All right, friends. We are at a another iconic place that you probably don't even know exists. This is, this was Elvis's dad's house and his stepmom D. This was their house. And that is where Graceland is right there. That's the gate. That barn is in the back of Elvis's property. That's in the very back corner of Graceland. And uh, you can see the top of the barn. The first time I went and saw that barn, I actually jumped the fence in 1988 and went in that barn and went around it. And you could actually see in it. And they had those uh, snowmobiles that they crashed in there, and there was a uh, several things that are in the museum across the street, like the go kart. I mean, golf carts were in there or on the edge. This side here was just an overhang; it wasn't finished out like you see. Look at that little uh, squirrel jumping on the fence. But you can see this thing's been padlocked, and um, so ain't much happening right here. But they had it where you could go through. His dad could go through the fence over to Graceland and um, could go visit him and just ease through the fence. You didn't have to, to go around. And of course now, this thing, somebody bought it, but boy, it's in really in disrepair. It's in a bit of a mess. There's even a thing there that said Vernon Presley, father of Elvis Presley, lived here. And you can see there's a no trespassing sign. And that's the back of Graceland, right over in here. That's Elvis's fence, that white fence. There you have it, friends. Of course, if I wanted to jump this little fence right here, that would be pretty easy to do. But this is down the side of Graceland. If you go down to the big road, turn to the right, Graceland's right there, it's right over there. He lived here from 64 to 78. So friends, as I fly the drone over, I'm gonna narrate a little bit. Of course, you can see the house and it's got a barn type roof. And if you look just to the right of the, the back of the house there, you see the fence is kind of L-shaped. To the right of that is that barn that I was talking about. That's actually on Graceland property, and you can see that's just across the fence. Um, and you see the in-ground pool there behind his dad's house. It's got grass growing in it. This thing is really uh, dilapidated over the years. And the trees weren't as big as they are now, of course, uh, back at that time um, when Elvis was actually living there. But that barn was always there. And you can see now we're behind Graceland property, and you can see the racquetball court there just a little bit left of center of the screen you can see the top of it it's that rectangular shaped uh building and you could actually go up on the roof of that and just to the left of that that semicircle at the top of the screen that's where elvis was buried uh that's where the grave sites are and they still have horses at graceland that barn is still being used and you see I'll pitch back up here shortly and you can see the corrals and stuff. There's actually horses there still active today. And that semicircle just to the left of the center of the screen, that is the meditation garden. And as I rise up, you'll see to the right of that, you'll start seeing the swimming pool, um, kidney shaped pool coming into uh, the screen. And that is Graceland to the right of that. That's the trophy room and all that stuff where Elvis had a racetrack. Uh, slot car tracks and all that kind of stuff and then the house is inside those trees. 
course, the trees have really grown up over the years. They weren't nearly that big the first time I ever went there. Um, but I'm going to get off of here and let you just look, play your little bed music, and just enjoy the scenery. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll have more Elvis stuff coming up. So subscribe. So friends, I'm standing here in front of Vernon's house. You can see that it's got a historical marker. It says he lived there from 64 to 78. And I'm about to be allowed to go in and film. <laughs> Having trouble lining it up <laughs> with the reverse screen. But you can see I'm standing in the front yard. This is the front yard of the house. They have the, the lines. And Graceland is directly behind the house over in that direction. So Vernon lived here and he would walk through the gate and walk over to the office in Graceland and work. And so I'm gonna make a video about this and put it up and we'll let you check out the inside. Come with, won't you? Tighten up. So I'll show you a little bit of the inside of the house. This is inside the front door. And you see that the front foyer is like broken tile. And I'm in the next room to your left which is kind of a sitting room. I'm not sure what they used it for, but it was kind of a sitting room and it heads to Vernon's room. This is Vernon's bedroom right here. The bed would have been right here to the left and the uh, hot tub would have been in the far back corner. That door that you see to the right beside the sliding doors, that's a bathroom. We'll get over there closer to the hot tub. Just an in-ground hot tub literally in Vernon's bedroom in the house, which I thought was pretty interesting. Now, this is really old school because this is back from the 70s when they didn't have traditional hot tubs like they have now, so didn't have many jets. This is the hotline phone that was upstairs that you could click and call directly to Graceland. And then I will show you the intercom system that they used, which is typical from back then, would be a Newtone brand. And that's just a few little pieces of the inside of Elvis's father's house that's right next to Graceland. And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spy Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globe Trotting with Trey. He has over 150. And we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.